Hello, my name is Rocket, and welcome to a brand new series. Uh, today we're going to be starting CrossCode. Now this is a game I have played a few years back. It's been a long time since I've played this game. It's one of my favorite games ever. And it recently got finished, like everything I think. Uh, when I last played this game a few years ago, it was still not complete. And I'm back to... To have some fun, see what's new, and just enjoy myself with this game. I have played this game a bunch, so I guess it's going to be kind of a playthrough, but also a guide, which is kind of interesting. Obviously, I don't know a lot, but uh, I think I've played this game a little bit to at least know a few things. And yeah, this is one of my favorite games of all time. And since I was going to play it again, and I already played it, I thought I could, yeah, make a kind of a playthrough guide and just have a lot of fun with this game. I really love the artwork, as you can see. This is an indie game, actually, so... Uh, I, th I think it's a game that never got the recognition it deserves. It's a really, really good game, right? Um, yeah. I really like the art style as well. It's kind of old-fashioned, and there's a lot of... I, I, I'm talking too much, but there's, like, a lot of cool things we're gonna be discovering throughout the game, so... I don't think I should be starting right now, but yeah, this is CrossCode. And uh, let's just start it. Let's have some fun playing this game. So, new game. I'll talk about the things I know and um, everything of the sorts while we're playing. So, we save a bit of time, but yeah. About difficulty and assist mode. Crosscode is designed with challenge in mind for both combat and puzzles. So, yeah, we're going to be having a lot of combat and a lot of puzzles playing this game. But it, it, it adds like a little depth. You're going to realize after a little bit that's just absolutely amazing and it's just going to be a lot of fun um, trying to solve all the puzzles and even the combat is really smooth it's it's really nice and we encourage every player to try the game with its intended difficulty however if those challenges end up making the game less enjoyable or even inaccessible for you we provide options to tweak the difficulty through the assist tabs in the options menu we will be playing as normal so let's go ahead and start the game Cross Worlds. Uh, the beginning is actually kind of weird. So we're init initializing our avatar and we have this girl here. Hello. I know you can hear me. Where is he? Shizuka. So this is Shizuka. I have to ask you to leave. So you're keeping him here. What do you think you're doing? Time is running short. We don't have a choice. So you abduct a dying person and let him work until his last breath? Is that it? I'm going to talk some sense into him. Don't get in my way. So we have press W, A, S, and D to move around. So this is pretty basic for, for this game. I actually... Oh, I think we can only move around. But yeah, we can move around a little bit. As you can see, like the graphics are absolutely beautiful. It's so good. And the art style is amazing. Uh, the music is amazing. Everything in this game is so good. I, I just like this game so much, and I can't wait to share my knowledge, I guess, of playing this game so long. And hopefully, uh, this becomes kind of a good guy. So we also have some messages that will appear from time to time. And imagine, like, I didn't read that, right? I think we can go to options somewhere? Yeah, if I click ask on my computer, for example. If you're playing on... You can actually play this game on Nintendo Switch. I think it's the minus button or something, but... Um, there's a little button then you can go here that will option that will open this and you can actually see previous messages so if when a message appears here right if a message appears here you can't read it you can just press ask on the computer and you will actually see so it says this uh, weird man that we still don't know that shizuka is talking with shizuka please don't do this All right uh, obviously not the hardest message to read that one but uh, we'll find more for sure that are going to be a little bit longer so we are Continuing. Oh, all right. So we have our first battle. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further. Really? And hold D and press. Oh, so this is for dashing. And then we can attack with the left button. All right. So this is pretty basic. Uh, this game is really smooth, as you can see. You can dash. Right now, we only know how to dash and how to attack, but uh, looks pretty easy right now. You can just dash, dash to dodge or to close the gap and then we can just strike. And all of this is with the mouse. I have played on both computer and Nintendo Switch and I think it's actually easier to play on the computer. 
Um, but play on, on Nintendo Switch it was also pretty good. Uh, I don't really know. This game seems very enjoyable no matter where you play it because everything is just so smooth. You know, this is what he wants as well. Sure, you like to think that. You won't listen. Alright, so you have more monsters. Cold based, how very creative. Alright. So, as you can see, right, I'm kind of spoiling a little bit, but as you can see, like, they're cold elements, so they're going to be elements. Uh, obviously, she kind of transformed into a fire element, as you can see. She was, like, um, weak to heat, how surprising. So, yeah, she basically had the heat element, and the heat, heat, the heat element was actually very had bonus damage onto those cold-based uh, enemies. Almost there. Alright, let's keep going. We have the fighting music right now. If you interrupt him, all of this hard work, all of his hard work, work will be lost. Don't do this. So, it never should have happened in the first place. Alright. Let's see what more we can find out. The game starts kind of weird. I remember when I first played, I was kind of like, what is happening? So yeah, I know the beginning can be a little bit weird. Alright, we have a lot of enemies here. Okay, this is it. You don't know when to stop, do you? Just watch. So we're gonna be... Press and hold space. And release. And we have a combat art. Okay, so... Yeah, it kinda, it's just so smooth, all the combat animations. You can throw as many enemies as you want. The level threshold doesn't exactly work in your favor. Alright. So things we find out is that uh, there's combat art. So as you can see, if he, oh, he can't do it anymore. But if you hold space there, as you can see, you've got that really beautiful animation of us just crushing all those robots. That was uh, a combat art. We will learn more about it. So let's just keep moving and head inside. So the tutorial in this game is kind of big, so I don't really know how long I'm going to be playing, but I kind of have an idea where I want to stop. So let's see if we can reach there without reaching a really big time. We have Satoshi, all right. Sister, all right. So we have brother and sister. What do you think you're doing? You are in no condition to do this kind of work now. All you should do is rest. Why should I rest when I'm way beyond recovery? I need to finish this work. It's my final task. I told you about the agreement. I finished this and they will let you go. No, I don't want this. Satoshi, stop it. It is done. No! Shizuka, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I got you involved in this. Just promise me that you will get away. Please. Alright, so yeah, the beginning is really confusing, you really don't know what's happening here. So all you know is that there was Shizuka, there was a mystery man, and then there was his brother Satoshi, and uh, now we have this girl here. She looks very similar to Shizuka. There you are. Initialization successful. We have another person over here. Oh, is the speech synchronization malfunctioning? Apparently, well, something just had to go wrong, but you can understand me, correct? Okay, we will make it work somehow. You are probably confused about this situation, correct? Alright, let us take small steps. Do you remember VRPs? Virtual Ricochet Projectiles. Balls? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, you seem to remember. Carla? We are ready. Please initiate the training sequence. All right, so yeah, we're still kind of in the tutorial. VRPs are your most essential tool and weapon. They are basically like balls. Your task is to hit all these robots with VRPs. So give it a shot, or rather, a throw. And we can press the left to aim, and can release it. I just need to hit it. So obviously this is way easier to focus on, on the computer because you have your mouse. On the Nintendo Switch, it can be a little bit, uh, like, sensitive, the controls, so it might go, you know, I'm trying to be pointing here and it goes, like, a little bit over, so it's obviously way easier to just do it 
with the mouse. So I think, yeah, I think Power of the Computer is a little bit easier to play, but I think playing on the console can also be very rewarding. So it just takes a little bit more work. So yeah, nice work. Well, just to be sure, let us repeat this exercise with an extended distance. Oh, and something different. Oh yeah, I don't think we can do it right now, but um, in the beginning of the game, they also taught us that uh, clicking on the left button of the mouse would also, you know, use that move, that melee move that we were attacking. So basically, if you hit very close to your character, he will do the melee attack, but if you, um, you know, point here, where it's very far, he will actually just throw the ball. So there's actually two ways of throwing the ball. Aim and move the cursor towards the edge of the screen to extend your view. So, oh, this is something interesting. If we actually take our cursor and put it at the edge, and we actually hold, we can actually see a little bit towards um, the extended map. So that's pretty interesting. We can see someone here and actually hit that right accent. But yeah, we can see that little way there. So there's actually two ways of throwing the balls. Uh, you can actually just throw, right? Uh, the problem with that is that there will be no aim, as you can see. So the way you want to do it most of the time is just to just to kind of put where you want to throw and just hold a little bit while it actually uh, focuses. So this will be called the focus, and if you see, like if I throw, you can see two lines instead of one, but if you actually just hold a little bit, it'll be completely focused and you can actually hit them uh, quite easily. We will go more uh, through this and all of the different controls, but for now, let's just keep going through the tutorial. Like I said, the tutorial in this game is pretty big. There's a lot of things that are going to be happening. So you want to do... You still want to have a, a, a fast pace, even if I want to be talking about all the different controls and everything I've learned about playing this game a lot of times. So very good. Okay, next let us enable the charge mode. So charge mode activated. You activated charge VRPs by aiming for longer time. So this is what I was kind of doing, but we still didn't have the full extent of the charge VRPs. And now we unlocked it. So let us practice right away. And now, if I throw a ball, it won't really do anything, right? But if you actually, charge mode allows for the throwing. Oh my God, you see, it's like really fast. So let's see if he finishes talking. Is he done? Can I read it now? Alright, so charge mode allows for the throwing of larger VRPs. The, those charged VRPs will ricochet on the wall, so this is how... This is why uh, aiming is always so important. It usually does a bit more damage than just throwing random balls if you actually focus and then throw a charge ball, or a charged ball, it will do more damage and will also ricochet on the walls. So that is the reason for their name, you see? Using your charged VRPs, you can hit the target with the red circle. Easy enough, right? Right, so we actually focus on this cone here. You can actually see the trajectory of uh, where the ball is going to go, and that's really nice. Sorry, as you can see, I'm trying to point on the computer or on the, you know, the thingy, and there we go. Okay, enough practice with VRPs. It is about time we put you down on your feet. Carla, we are done here. You can terminate the flotation sequence. All right. So I learned a little bit about... I really like uh, the, the VRPs, I really like using it. Hey there, girl! Welcome to our cozy cargo hold! My name's Carla, nice to meet you. You sure are a quiet one. Apparently there is an issue with her speech synchronization. She still understands us, though. So we cannot talk. Which is a little bit unfortunate. No way! Is there a way to fix it? I do not know yet. I will have to look into that. Anyway, I'm sure we'll be able to understand each other somehow. Non-verbal communication, you know? Atta girl. Still kinda would like to know your name. Sergey, can you help us out here? So we have Carla, we have Sergey, and... Right, her name is Lee, we have Lee over here. So she looks very similar to Shizuka. Obviously, at first glance, you would, I don't know, you would assume it's like a twin sister or something. Because she looks very, very similar. Leah, well, ain't that sweet. Well then, Leah, ready to get up? We gotta get you ready for what's coming, ball throwing and the like, you know? And I got just the thing to prepare you for. To prepare... And I got just this thing prepared for you. Alright, follow me. Alright. So we can press to pause and yeah, save the game. Alright, so, so far so good. So we can actually, as you can see, uh, when you go through a person and it has this text, if you actually go close to them and click, uh, you can actually talk to them, so just leave through the door when you're ready. 
So, so this is where we're gonna start to understand the depth of the game and how it's so nice to just it just makes you think outside the box. All right, let's all right, let's get started. Your task is to reach a door at the other end of this room. And don't mind me, I'll just stick around and keep an eye on ya. Well, I might give you some hints if you ask nicely, you know? Right, so if you're having some difficulties, you can actually just ask her. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so let's see. Alright, we can go over these boxes, and you actually don't need to jump. There's no uh, way of actually just jumping. Um, you will jump automa automatically once you actually enter a zone to jump. So if I go up, I can go up here and continue. Oh yeah, never mind the visor. I just need this to see what you're doing. So interesting, she needs those glasses to see what we're doing. Don't worry about it for now. We'll explain it to you later on. All right, so I have Sergey and Carl helping us out. All right, so I have a new thing over here. This is a blue wall. There's going to be two kinds of walls. As you can see, you have um, the orange wall and the blue wall. So the blue wall will stop us from going. And if you try to throw a VRP, it will not work. Um, all right, and also have another thing over here. This, you can actually throw a VRP or just hit it. So you can actually just hit that. And the wall will go down. So as you can see, there's like this little dotted line that will tell us kind of what this is for, right? So that's pretty cool. We can keep moving for now. And as you can see here, we cannot jump like I told you. There's no button to jump. But if you just walk, there we go. You know, you can just walk and you will jump. So this is kind of how the game is going to be organized, you know? And there's a lot of things that... You're going to have to think a little bit outside the box, and it's going to be really fun, but... Alright, so as you can see, then we have the orange wall. So remember that the blue wall, we couldn't walk through it, and uh, we couldn't throw a VRP at it. But the orange wall, we cannot go through it anyway, but we can actually throw the VRPs. And I have this, um, this, um, this wall, I guess, or these little blocks. Now, as you can see, these blocks are glowing. If something usually is glowing, it means you can actually interact with it in, it in some way, like destroy it, and uh, other things that I, want to, I don't really want to talk about right now, so... Like, why can't I use the melee attack? Did they disable it? I guess they disable the melee attack for now. So remember the blue wall, and you can't go through, and you can't go through, but on the orange wall, you can actually... Uh, through a VRP. So now we have to hit this thing to give us something. So there's a lot of dotted lines. So let's just go through here and get rid of this. Alright, we have another one over there. So you're gonna also have to understand a lot of height. So as you can see, like I'm on the ground, I cannot hit this because I'm not on the same level. Sometimes it will kind of be tricky to understand where something is exactly in terms of height. But, you know, on the floor, I can't hit it right here. I can actually hit it. Wow, I was expecting only to be, hit, be able to hit it from here, but all right. So it seems that even though this is basically the same as this, the height of it was only here. Oh, actually, no. This is still shorter than this, but because I was on top of it, I actually became taller because of my own height. So this has to do with the character. But yeah, usually uh, you, would, you would only be able to hit it from here because you're at the same height. You're gonna have to understand that as you play through the game as well. All right, so let's do this. Let's find a way to hit that with a ricochet. So let's see, how about that? There we go. Nice and easy, and that's two. There's another one over here. As you can see, I can't hit it because there's something blocking it, but we can actually go through it and just tap it. There we go. And can we hit that one? No, we cannot. So we're gonna have to do what I wanted initially to do with this one. Go all the way up here and then just hit it. And with that, we open the door. As you can see, the dotted line, dotted line, dotted line, more dotted line. We needed all of them to just unlock this door. So that's all for this room. Nice work, girl. All right, we can keep moving on. And entering the next stage, more switches await. All right, I have this switch. So this switch is a little bit different. As you can see, it uh, goes blue a little bit. So you actually have to hit it multiple times. Oh, oh, something else I want to talk about of VRPs. So there's two ways you can do it. So the first one is is the way I do most of the time. That's charging first and then just throwing balls. Because once you actually charge, that means your aim will always go in this direction. So you can throw as many balls as you want. It will always go in, in the direction you initially put it. But if you just throw balls, it will actually take some time, as you can see. Uh, there's two lines because 
um, you haven't focused your aim yet, so it'll just throw randomly between those two lines, but if you actually charge first, it will actually be a little bit quicker, and then you can just throw in as many balls as you want. So, I do recommend with VRPs to try to make yourself hit after aiming. That's really important. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a few years, but I'm so happy to be back in a time where the game is finished, and, uh... Girl, you're sure a natural with balls. Carlo, they were called VRPs, not balls. Oh, come on, nobody calls them that anymore, you know? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I played this game a few years ago, and it's just one of my favorite games. I'm so happy to be playing it again. So let's see. Um, some Oh, yeah, something that you didn't notice, but I noticed about these blocks, is that if you throw a ball, it won't kill it. But if you throw a charge attack, it'll actually kill the, those bolters because the charge attack usually does more damage than just throwing a ball. So yeah, they kind of give you... that's I mean, probably not really something they plan, but you can actually notice that the charge bolt does more damage. So now here, we're gonna have to focus here. Let's try that. It does hit, so let's just throw multiple bolts. Oh, we actually can. Alright, so we can't do that. Oh, you need to hit this. I didn't hit it. I'm an idiot. Thank god I played this game uh, like 50,000 times just to uh, be still a an idiot. Well done! Yeah, that was all. It's a small room. Alright. Uh, there's nothing else to do. Alright, let's keep going. Huh, finally, this one is my favorite. Here you can go wild on these robot mice. Moving target practice. Have fun, girl. Alright. So press. Of uh, left mouse repeatedly to hold down the enemies in a rapid fire. Alright, so as you can see, there's eight enemies here. Usually, when you have this um, this here, this little block will tell you how many enemies you need to beat to move on. And there's eight of them. That's a lot, right? Let's kill this rat over here that's uh, alone. And remember to charge. And they're not really attacking me right now, I'm just kind of hitting them. So it makes it a little bit easier, even though they're. You're running a little bit. Also trying to remember the controls myself. Uh, but yeah, so far I kind of remember well. So now we have a problem, right? We have two remaining that are up here, so how the hell do we get up there, right? Well, you, you just need to think a little bit. And right now, at the beginning of the game, you know, the puzzles are not that hard, but... Holy moly, you know, they get hard. <laughs> they get a little bit difficult. Okay, there's one remaining. Let's just take care of that. And there we go. So this is basically th like the other things that we needed to do to hit them, and you have this little dotted line will kind of tell you what it will do once you actually finished it. So moving on, we have four enemies. Oh, hello. More enemies. Let's just take care of all of them. There we go. Oh, they actually count for this? I thought it was just random. Okay. That's kind of easy. Kind of just hitting them, they're not really doing much. It's, you know, tutorial still. So, uh, let's keep taking care of them. There's 10 here, that's a lot. Oh, I can actually test the damage right now, so let's see. We hit, can we hit one? So, 14 damage. And let's see how much a charge one does. So, 30. Alright, as you can see, more damage. That did 44, as you can see. So, 30. Let's hit, so 30, 20. As you can see, it's a little bit more damage if you do the charge attack. Alright. What else? So now we need to get over here, but we can because there's the orange wall. But if you remember, the orange wall, we can actually uh, throw the VRPs. So we're just gonna have to hit him and then try to kill them. There we go. You can actually go over here, hit the ones off this side. And there we go. Pretty easy tutorial for now. But yeah, it's very long. The, 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 this game actually tries to teach you everything very slowly, so you understand everything. I really like that as well. Whoa, slow down there, girl. Just a short warning. Here, you'll meet your first real enemy, so we're gonna start fighting. And by real, I mean those things will, in fact, attack you. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, they're really easy, but still. If you do get beat up, your respawn point is right in this room. Um, that means there's no real danger, go ahead and kick some ass. Uh, just a moment, let me enable the dash module before we start the battle. So you kind of have to unlock everything because this is a different avatar, it's not the other 
Uh, it's not Shizuka. So we have the dash activated. Dash is essential in battle since it helps you to quickly dodge enemies, enemies' attacks at any time. Uh, it also can be used to close the gap. Doesn't necessarily need to be to dodge, but yes, that it, that is very good to always be moving. Uh, actually, my playstyle is very dodgy, and I'll explain why once we actually get to a point where I need to explain it, but for now, right he is. Now please enter to the right in order to proceed with the ass kicking. So if you press the right while moving, we, while moving to dash, though only, oh my god, press the right button while moving to dash, though only up to three times in a row. You can dash at any time, even while aiming. Okay, so basically a, uh, dashing, if you are moving and you dash, you can dash three times. After the third dash, you will start dashing a little bit slower. So if you can go all the way over here, one, two, three, and then as you can see, the fourth dash was very slow. But if you actually dash three times, for example, I dash one, two, three, and I start moving again. So wait, one, two, three, and I start moving again. I can actually dash three times again. So there's a little bit of a cooldown, I guess, but... You can actually get by it really fast if you just move a little bit before dashing again. So remember, one, two, three, don't dash four, five, six times. Dash one, two, three, move a little bit, and dash one, two, three. Right, that's how, that's basically all you need to know about dashing, at least for now. So good luck in here. So we still can't use the melee attacks, so I mean, we're hitting a little bit of a different enemy, but they're not really doing much, I'm just kind of killing them. So that was one. A bit of advice, hit them with charge balls to cancel their attacks. Yes, we'll learn a, bit, a little bit about that more in the future. But as you can see, like, I already have a little bit of the basic controls under my belt. So all I'm doing is hitting them and then dodging to make sure I still have a gap between me and the opponent because I only have the charge balls. And obviously if I do that, I will not lose HP because they're not really attacking me. Uh, you really notice when they're going to attack you because you can actually see them, like, glowing red. So this will be something that basically every opponent will have, so if you see that they are glowing red, it means they're about to attack, and you can, uh, depending on their patterns, actually decide what, what you want to do next, right? So obviously that was kind of easy for me, but I replayed this game a little bunch, even though it was a few years ago. It's been like three years since I last played this game. But yeah, I'm so excited to be playing it when everything is done. There's even a DLC, I think. I'll probably play the DLC even, it'll, even if it's just my first time. Um, kind of get that stuff. So let's see what Sergey and Carlos said. Um, yes, that was awesome, girl. Sergey, you weren't kidding. She's really got a knack for battling. Yeah, that sure takes me back. I mean, you really don't know what's happening, right? Uh, let's see. If you like this room, you're gonna love the next one, trust me. Alright. Hey, champ, get your adrenaline down again for a second. We gotta add a bit more edge to your arsenal. The sharp one, that is. I see that got your attention. Sergey, you finished? Yes, unlocking virtual proximity impact now. So get the melee damage activated. Great, with those close combat strikes called VPI, you can quickly tear through several targets in your path at once. Only them close ones, of course, you got that? Sharp as a blade. Now start by clearing that path for us, will you? So now, we actually hit long, like I was explaining a little bit in the beginning, but we didn't have the melee attack unlocked. If you start hitting, or you start clicking a little bit far away, it will actually throw the the balls, right? The VRPs. But, if you click very close, it will do the VPY, which is the melee attack. So, uh, if uh, it's really cool, I really like the melee attack as well, even though I like playing as a ranged character a little bit more often. Um, so, the melee attack can hit multiple targets at the same time, so that makes it a little bit better, right? Uh, but obviously, if you're in the melee position, you're a, bit, a little bit more vulnerable for damage, right? So let's hit this as well. There we go. As you can see, we also have a combo. Kind of dash like three to five times. Wait there for another sec. Yeah, yeah, I know. A second wait is an attack wasted. <laughs> Still, you should know that your strikes have enough punch to interrupt some attacks. Yeah. So you can just pummel your opponents without giving them a chance to strike back. So basically, if you do a combo, you usually might... Um, make them not even be able to attack. So sounds like a plan, am I right? So go get him. Alright, so let's fight a little bit and let's try using the melee arts. That was just a one shot right now. I just I just spammed it. You know, I just spammed it and we did our full combo. There's like five combos. There's three. And on the fourth one you hit and then you dash and hit again. Pretty cool. So let's see here. 
can be sometimes uh, very difficult to control if you're hitting with balls or just a strike. They give you a range, you see? Like the range, that little thing. If you click outside of it, it'll be range, as you can see. Also, the cursor changes, so that's very cool. Uh, it, might, it might take a little bit for you to, like, understand it and kind of know the time zones, but... Yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know, so... The cursor changes depending on which, you know, which thing you're gonna do, which art or combat art. Even, we don't really have common art, but, you know, the controls, the melee, the VPY, and the VRPs, or, you know, the, the melee and the balls. <laughs> a little bit more easily, or a little bit more easy to understand, right? The the melee attack and the, the balls. And you just crossed the finish line, congrats. We're still not finished with the tutorial, but yeah, we did uh, pretty good here. Seriously, girl, that was quick. It's like you've never forgotten the basics at all. Oh my, you still look so puzzled about all of this. I suppose it is about time we explain all the circumstances. You bet it is, but let's take a short break before that, okay? I still need to report to the captain. He wants to meet Leah as well. Good idea. Best not keep a uh, jet waiting for too long. Come on, Leah, right this way, so you have to meet the Captain Jet now. You have a little bit more of a uh, of boxes. All right, up to the bridge. Oh yeah, Leah, just a heads up. The captain's kind of grumpy, but don't worry about it. That's just the way he is. All right. Cap, I'm back with the report. I see. Go on. <laughs> he looks really grumpy. The initiation, a total cinch. Here's the avatar. Name's Lee. I really like the music. The music in this game is really good. I really... Oh, I mean, this game is just great. You should play it. <laughs> Aye, hard to miss that last. Hope you... Had... I, I can't really do the accent, I'm sorry. Hope you didn't run into everything with those horns there. Oh, uh, it, it has some, like, humor as well. Oh, man. Wait, don't tell me you didn't notice the horn still now, Leah. In her face. Oh, the facial expressions are just... Oh. And you can see, like, the art is kind of, um... Pixelated. It's so nice. Anyway, make sure you clean up that mess you started down there in the cargo hold soon. Yes, Captain. I hope Sergei is satisfied. Is he around? Yeah, just give me a sec to set up your headset. Hello there, Jet. Oh, he's smiling, my god. My good man, it's been a long time. Indeed, you are still clinging to that jetpack, I see. So I guess Jet isn't his name, or maybe it is? You know, I never traveled the sea without good old Betty. <laughs> anyway, I hope you, st you two will be ready to travel on soon. Having a darn avatar on board is just calling for trouble. Okay, so yeah, we are an avatar. We we saw in the beginning of the game where we where we were starting Shizuka it said initiating avatar. So um, if like why are hmm, a little bit you know confusing right now. Of course, you will make this a brief as brief as possible. G cab, what kind of welcome is that supposed to be? Besides, ain't we talking to Jet, former VRP dueling champion? You keep telling us all about your combat moves from the old days. So here I thought maybe you'd want to give Leah a small combat lesson. You like the, the facial expressions. You're telling me that we lass is up for a battle. Oh, you bet she is. Right. We'll see about that. Just talk to me later today. Sweet. Now then, you're dismissed. You can show the lass around the ship, but don't you stir up any trouble. Alright, Captain. Come on, Leah. Time for some fresh air. And this is where we realize we are on a boat, so the welcome aboard the MS Solar. So yeah, I think today we'll be doing everything on the MS Solar, um, and then we'll continue next episode with the rest. Um, the MS Solar is, is not the tutorial, by the way, there's a bit more of the tutorial after that as well. So quite the ship, huh? You know, the view here is nice, but you gotta see what's beyond the bow. We're currently steering towards Romba Square. That's something to look at. Actually, why not go to the b the bow? The bow? The, ba the bow, right? And explain the situation to Leah there. Seeing Romba Square will make it easier for her to understand, correct? Hey, good thinking, Sergey. Follow me, Leah. So, you know, we're gonna learn a bit more about what the hell's happening over here, because, you know, we're still very confused. So we're gonna go down, it seems. There she is, the Avatar! Alright. <laughs> avatar vibes of, like, 
the, the last time. Airbender and Korra. <laughs> and she's a Spheromancer class. How awesome is that? Okay, so something about this game. Uh, there are going to be different classes. We are a Spheromancer. But one thing I don't like about this game, this is one of the few things that bug me, is that they do not tell you exactly the different types of classes or in what they exactly mean. So, once we reach a specific point, I already know when I'm going to be saying this, but once we reach a specific point into the game, I'm going to be um, talking about each of the classes. There's four or five of them? I th five of them, I think. And I'll talk about the classes, but I think there's five, and we are the Spheromancer. So, look li looks like you got your first fan, Leah. <laughs> I like her face like happy. Hey there, Carla. Good to see you. All about all these strange boxes here. Yeah, I know. I'm, sub so I'm supposed to clean that up. But right now, I have to take care of the avatar, you know? I'll do it in a bit, okay? See you later. There she goes again. She said exactly the same thing yesterday. A Pharaoh answer is so awesome. Bo is this way. It's a bit of a wonk, though. Just follow me. Carla, what were all of those destructible boxes doing in that room anyway? I was just practicing how to use these things, you know? Probably should have done that somewhere else. Okay, so we're kind of looking for Carla. There she is. Now, girl, have a look at this. Alright. Such beautiful graphics. Okay, where to start? How about welcome to Crossworlds? One step at a time, Carla. Leah, do you remember the concept of an MMO? Let's say no, so uh, I don't know if there's anyone out there that's no. We will, we will, you know, we'll hear the explanation. Well, MMO stands for Massively Multiplayer Online. It is a term for video games that support a large number of players simultaneously. Usually, all these players are connected to a virtual environment from all around the world. Now, Crossworlds is like an MMO, just with one striking difference. The world of this game is not virtual, it is real. So, kinda can be a little bit confusing, but... The only difference is that the world of this game is not virtual, it is real. So we are in a real planet, but there are virtual things in it. Kind of confusing, right? But... Hopefully we'll understand a bit more as we play the game. All players are remotely connected to this world through special avatars. So the, so players are remotely connected to this world, so this is a different world than Earth, okay? And they are connected through special avatars. We are an avatar, right? These avatars have a physical form and are tightly connected to all five senses of the player, all right? And you, Leah, are currently logged into this game as well, so we are not really in this game. We're virtually connected here, but physically as well. A kind of like really good technology, right? And we're an avatar, so... But why were they confused about me being an avatar? Shouldn't they be avatars as well? Oh, me? I'm not a... I'm not a player. I just work here. So there's actually real people that are not avatars. In fact, you're the only avatar on this whole ship. So even though this is a different world where the... You know, the game exists, it still means that, um... There are people, you know, that still live here in this planet and they're not from a different planet. Really exciting, really kind of weird as well. That is correct, this car cargo ships belongs to the maintenance staff of Crossworlds. The actual game takes place in the land you see over there, the playground. The reason you are here, Leah, is because you are not a regular player. You have lost your memory and we are trying to recover it. You see, you have been in this game before. Being logged into this game, there is a chance you might remember your past. And that is why we will try to get you into the real playground soon. Yeah, in fact, you'll be going to that glass palace of a city over there. So you're gonna be going over here. That's Ramba's Square. It's where all players start. Alright. Well, I guess this cleared up some things at least, right? Alright then, I think this is a good time to split. I'm going to go talk to the captain and try to set up that combat lesson for you. Meanwhile, you can have a look around the ship if you like. The crew knows about you. I guess you already noticed that, right? You can meet me and the captain later. Until then, just make sure not to fall into the water. Alright. By the way, Leah, I had a closer look at those speech, speech synchronization issue. Unfortunately, I do not think I will be able to fix them soon. She, oh, she's sad. I really like Leah. I, I like a lot of the characters in this game, but... Uh, I really like our main character. However, I found a little workaround. 
and might be able to hard code specific audio patterns in your speech module. Into your speech module. 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 Module? Module. I cannot say the word right now. Moving on. That means you will be able to say certain words. It's not the worst, I guess. That should help a little bit, right? So let us try it out. New word embedded. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. It works. That should help you start some conversations with the crew here. So it, have a look at the ship. Oh, if we click on ask, they will also tell you kind of the current m main task or the main the main thing you're about to be doing. So we have have a look around the ship. Uh, we can probably talk to some people. So we have this guy. Hi. Hello there. You must be a guest on on this ship, right? Um, don't be shy. We see, man. May look rough, but we're easygoing folks, really. You want to know what I'm doing here? Yes, sure. I'm currently checking up on the solar panels here. They are our primary source energy source, so they better work properly. That's pretty, uh, you know, re renewable energy, pretty good. Otherwise, our nice and shiny MS solar won't budge a centimeter. Trust me, being stuck in the ocean too long is not something you want to experience. <laughs> huh, I suppose he did not even notice your avatar. Well, the human appearance is pretty convincing. Except for the hair color, and maybe the horns, you know, that that's also kind of... Like, I have horns. <laughs> Alright, dude, I know you're new around here, but really, you gotta be more relaxed about all of this. What? Just because I was too quick about cleaning duty? It wasn't really that much. Well, if you keep this, people will notice. Oh, hey, you're that avatar girl, right? Hi. I was just giving our newbie here a lesson. Hey, I've been working here for six months. Oh, damn, that's actually a lot of time. You're sure? Before you know it, you'll be cleaning the whole deck front to back every day. Uh, so basically, uh, th this actually kind of tries to explain you a little bit. So um, sometimes you'll actually talk to people this way, right? You just go up to them and you'll see the stacks. Other times you won't, won't be able to talk to them, but you will actually be able to see dialogue. And sometimes these things can appear where uh, kind of like um, this quest thingy, like this uh, exclamation point, and then there's some arrows pointing you. So if you actually talk to them at that point, like right now I can't really talk to them because they're, you know, at the dialogue. But once the, the exclamation point appears and the arrows are pointing at you to go there, you can actually click on them to talk to them, and it will be dialogue, just like talking to this person right here. So that's kind of how you do that. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. So there's they show you basically different types of dialogue you can encounter and how to talk to, keep, to people Pretty cool. Let's see what else we can find on this ship the MS solar. So, okay, let's see Okay, so yeah, you can go through here and we'll go to the same place, right? A lot of boxes All right, so there's nothing on this area. We kind of explore more solar panels pretty cool. We can't Oh, we can actually go to the left and continue. We end up here. Can we continue even more? We can. Holy moly. All right. But let's explore this area, right? So you have two people here. Oh my, that's some extremely colorful ha hair you have there. I had heard that avatar designs tend to be flamboyant, but really? And those horns too. You're not happy about them either, uh huh? Now I have to wonder who put those things on you. Whistle. Oh, it was him. I'm kind of trying to see what she's doing. Oh, she's smoking. Oh, wow. All right. Hi. Oh, Avatar incoming. I'm a Sam surprise. I expected the embodiment of some gamer kitty's wildest dreams. Lots of beefcake and such. Yet here we have such a cute girl. She is pretty cute. <laughs> I like her face. Too bad it doesn't really say anything about the player's actual appearance. Just like in the old days of MMOs, some things never change. Okay, let me have you. Hi! Hey, can't you see I'm busy here? Wait, who are you? Oh, right, I remember now. You're that... pseudo-robot thing? I don't really know how to say that word. Oh, no offense, you see, I just recently had this discussion with a colleague. It was about avatars being the same as robots. And I have to insist they are not. Avatars are just some fragile, temporary collection of instant matter. Everybody knows real robots are made of metal, like these beauties here. So I just can't share the excitement of my colleagues about your presence. You're just an avatar, no true robot, see? Anyway, I have to take care of my babies here, so if you'll excuse me. 
All right, so I think this is... Oh, we have you. Ah, look who's here. You must be the ad that avatar, right? Well then, welcome to the MS Solar. If you lean over the railing a bit, you might even see the name of the ship. Oi, make sure you don't fall into the sea. I'm pretty sure avatars are bad at swimming. So yeah, we had, we had a hint from Carla a, a little bit earlier telling us to please don't fall in the water. And we have this um, this sea man also telling us the same. So here's the MS Solar, pretty cool. So yeah, it seems that avatars are not very good in the water and we will experience that in the future. But for now, let's just keep exploring the MS Solar. We have another person over here. Hi. Uh, sorry, I'm just busy checking the containers there. All right, no problem. He's just working. We don't really want to annoy him too much if he's just working. And it seems that is pretty much all of the ships. So I think we can actually go a little bit faster by dashing. So let's go ahead and move a little bit faster through the game because I'm going a little bit slow. Oh, Mrs. Avatar is back. Hi. Woot, she talked to me. Gee, calm down there, fellow. Anyway, Carl just passed by us again. She told us that you would that you could take care of all these boxes here. I mean, really? Can you believe that woman? Now she's loading off her work on our guests. Well, she has a point. It's easier to destroy these boxes with your avatar weapons, right? Awesome, please, I want to see that. Well, no pressure, you know. You're our, you are our guest after all, but you help us out a lot. So you will destroy these boxes for us. Yes, show us the balls. Something... Can we leave? Okay, fine, we can. Um, alright. Let's just destroy the boxes. Okay, so... Okay, so I have these types of boxes that you can see, like, they're metal. They're, the metal is protecting boxes, so you need to find ways, either uh, by different angles or just by ricocheting on the wall to actually take care of them. So you can take care of that one. And we can actually go down here and take care of that one. And this one. We can't take care of that one, so you either can, we can do it through here, so we, we don't even need to ricochet on the wall, so let's just take care of that. And with that, we can go over here. We can even take care of that one. Um, need to go over here to hit on this one, maybe? There we go, so we can go back here, and then jump there. And yeah, I'm kind of already, like, I kind of know where to go right now, like, um, thinking I can just, like, I, I automatically, right? I'm like, oh, I need to go here, I'll go, and boom, I'm here, right? But you can take your time, just try to uh, understand the game mechanics and uh, how the game makes you think a little bit differently in terms of like how things are displayed and the height. But everything else should be fine. So yeah, you can sh uh, jump diagonally. There's going to be a lot of really interesting angles of things. So let's just take care of these boxes. And there's this box over here that we can't quite hit. So we're going to have to ricochet on the wall there. There we go. Pretty simple. And with that, we have clear all the boxes. All clear, truly amazing. I'm really surprised how quickly those balls were flying. What are you even talking about? I didn't see any balls, only those boxes disappearing for whatever reason. Yeah, you need to wear these AR goggles to see them. The balls and their impact are all like virtual and stuff. I see, so that's why you've been wearing those goofy glasses all day. Goofy, you know nothing about style, lady. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, thanks for a lot for the help. Yes, thank you so much, Mrs. Avatar. All right, so just one thing I want to mention. Uh, the, I don't know, if you've never played this game, you're like, see these stairs, and like, go up the stairs. I, I just remember that. You can't go up the stairs. It's just if someone was like, oh my god, he didn't go up the stairs, he didn't see the whole ship, you, you can't really go up the stairs. And I'm pretty sure we saw the whole ship. Just in case. But yeah, you can't go up the stairs, unfortunately. So that's pretty much it. So yeah, try to remember where you can go places and how to jump. And as you can see, like, I already moved quite quickly through all the places we can go. So we are at the basement for cargo. No. Oh, so this is basically where we did the whole uh, tutorial thingy, as you can see. And that was and that is also why Carla was using the glasses, if you remember, while we were doing the tutorial. Carla had the glasses just like that dude had. So, so we already went to the deck, we went to the cargo hold, let's go to the cabins. And this is pretty interesting as well, kind of go into, once you actually go down a little bit, you actually see this part clear so you can actually see yourself. And we actually see here the captain and Carl, let's go explore a little bit more, doesn't seem there's anything here. There's a toilet over there, we can't quite go through the door. Guess we can't open the door <laughs> to the bathroom. Uh, hopefully Avatar don't need to go to the bathroom, I have no idea. We have... Uh, these two people, we can't really talk to them, as you can see, because they don't have the text above them, and they're not talking to each other, so we can't really talk to them. So let's talk to Carla and the captain. 
chat. Hi. Whoa, you spoke? Is your voice finally back? Hi. Wait, that ain't right. Her speech synchronization is still malfunctioning. I just hard coded the word hi into her speech module. Speech module. Module. Module? I can't say the word. It's insane. Please don't put this again, okay? I understand. I cannot talk. Stop it. That's all she can say for now. I'm currently working on adding more words. I see. It's a start, I suppose. Anyway, the camp and I here have been planning out the combat training, girl. We're almost set up. Good to go. Right, girl? Aye, this is gonna be interesting. Oh my god, he's like, oh my god, I'm gonna kill you. Well, I'm off to my cabin for some final preparations. She looks so sad. I'll be done in no time. Just stick with the captain, okay? See you later. Aye, I'll be back on the bridge. You can talk to me when you're ready for the lesson. Make sure you're prepared. I'll be expecting your full attention. You two over there, make sure you clean up the galley. The gal galley? Galley? After you're done cooking, your son? What's the galley? I don't know what this is. Probably like. Uh, I'm not really sure. Aye aye, Captain. Alright. What is the galley? Let me see here. Galley. Is a ship or boat propel. What? Oh, it's basically cleaning the boat after they're done cooking. Alright. It's not like we forget since last time he told us. Yeah, it wasn't that yesterday. Oh, damn. It seems that Jet is a bit, you know, a bit pushy. So we need to go to the bridge to, to meet him. Okay, so there's nothing in any of these locations. Let's see. So the bridge is the fourth floor. So let's go search the cabins. This is where Carla said she was going to go for the final preparations, if you remember. Okay, can we talk to him? We can. Can to talk. Must defeat respawning enemy. Oh, I thought they canceled this game. I don't really recognize this. Um, I don't know if this is like supposed to be some sort of Easter egg and this is a specific game. Dang it! Uh, but yeah, I really don't know this game. If anyone knows the game, be sure to tell me. He seems pretty engaged with that game. We should just let him play. <laughs> yeah, let's just let him play. I don't want to mess with him too much. I just want to talk to him. He can just keep chilling and playing his game. Oh, you must be the avatar the captain told us about. Hi! Well, feel free to check out the ship. It's just one of the smaller ships of the solar class, but it does its job. A small, this is a small one. God damn. Uh, but I suggest you don't go near the room across the hall. So, we're gonna go. It's a bit messy. <laughs> hey there, Leah. You better not keep the captain waiting. Wait, Carla. Is this your room? Sure is. Something wrong with it? <laughs> How do you do it? Do what? This room? I did nothing. I can see that. I mean, how did Jet not see this room? Ah, I see. Uh, so basically we saw that Jet is a bit, you know, pushing once things clean and order. Oh, I, I see. Well, you have to wait for another time to hear my secrets, I guess, because Jet didn't really complain to Carla about her messy room. Better go to the bridge. The cab wants to show Leah some new tricks as soon as possible. Wait, you're not curious, Leah? Well, I guess we should go then. <laughs> Sergey really wants to know. This is weird. How does Carla do it? <laughs> He's still thinking about it, goddamn. Alright. I will find out. Sergey's new mission, someday. I like the smirk on his face. Oh, man. The game is so nice. Let's go to the bridge. And there is the captain. Hello, you're that avatar girl we were warned about, right? Sorry, but I need to pay attention to the radar. Right, so that man is controlling the radar, and there doesn't seem to be anyone else to talk to. It seems we have uh, done everything on the MS Solar, so let's go and speak to Jet. There you are! It's about darn time for your combat lesson. You ready? Oh my god, he's so scary. Yes, we are. Good, let's go to the balcony. Alright. Good, here we are. Carla, are you ready up there? Yes, Captain. Don't worry, don't forget about the goggles. So, we learned about the goggles. Haven't worn these for some time. All right then, time to start. I was told you learned the basics down in the cargo hold. Still, first I want you to show me your grip on aiming and throwing. Carla, prepare the target bot. Time to say hello to an old friend. All right, so he's probably gonna tell us more specific things that I probably already talked about while we were learning the new things, but listen carefully, I want you to hit that robot from the system 10 times and do it quickly, got that? So basically, he will tell you about the aim, so if you can't do it... Oh, he actually can. 
Okay. Yeah, just as I expected, you notice how half of the balls miss the target? Exactly. You still need to understand how to aim properly. I'll show you how it's done. Watch closely. So he's aiming. As you can see, there's two lines. See them dotted lines? That's the throwing range. When I, when I now start throwing balls, we'll be flying randomly in between the two lines. This is what I talked about, but I'm kind of glad that um, I can actually show you uh, the proper things. That's some pretty darn sloppy throwing. We won't have that here, you hear me? <laughs> he's so, like, strict. Now, fact is, when you be throwing balls, your precision will improve over time, just like this. As you can see, they're closing. But clearly, this takes time. You want it to be precise quicker. Then you better keep the aim and start the darn throwing. Quick, wasn't it? Once you get the lines connected, you can throw them with high precision. That's how you do it. Like I explained. See how you keep your precision after throwing? Once you got the lines connected, you can quickly throw as many precise balls as you want. But your precision is lost when you change your aiming direction too quickly, so you can't change too much, as you can see. Pretty cool. So in short, don't rush with the throwing. First wait for a split second to get the precision, then you can throw to get your heart's content. This is the best way. So now we can try again. And now we can do what he said and just throw. And that was pretty good. I see you understand the basics well enough. That will make things easier. Carla, we need that turret now. All right. Time to turn on old Betty. Next, we'll be practicing the dash. The turret will now start shooting at you. I want you to do two things. First, keep your aim on the turret, but don't throw anything. Second, dodge the turret's bullets without losing your aim. So we need to keep aim on him, but not hit him. And dodge. Okay. Alright. So we need to keep our aim and dodge. Oh, he missed. You have to be faster. Don't even think about simply walking past the shots, dash at the right moment. So we need to focus. Why can't I? Is my... Is it working okay? Oh my god, I missed again. What kind of um, person am I? I'm not even good enough. Alright, let's go. Okay, we're doing a little bit better now. There we go. Oh, I missed. Oh no. Um, Alright, we need to miss three shots. Oh my god, I'm doing it too uh, too soon. Alright, 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 come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I am playing I am do uh, playing with a um, Bluetooth um, keyboard, so it kind of takes a little bit of a delay. Also move things, but I don't want to make excuses. I, I finally did it. Nice work, enough with dodging. I try to handle this attack. Can't. <laughs> What the heck was that? Don't you know how to do a darn guard, lass? Actually, Jack, as a matter of fact, she does not know how to guard. You are a meanie. <laughs> I forgot to activate her guard module. Sergey, are you serious? You can't send that lass into battle without a proper shield. Yes, I will fix that right now. So you got guard. Good, so now you have your shield. Need an introduction on how it works? Yes, let's, let's go do that. Hi. Then listen closely. Alright, basics first, just show me the shield. Hold C or the right mouse without moving to guard. So I don't know what I'm gonna be enjoying most. Good, know that the shield will only block the front. Always look into the direction of the attack. So basically if we guard, we can, sh we can move. And uh, it will change the direction of the guard. Alright, got the basics? I think so, right? It's pretty simple. Good, now it's about time you you try to block this sworn of balls, right? Here we go. So, let's try blocking. There we go. Very good. That's all the basics I can teach you for now. Now, to round everything up, let's have a proper battle against the turret where you can use everything you've learned. Though, there will be a little surprise waiting for you. I'll let you take a short breather and talk to me when you're ready. Okay, so something else I want to talk about in a guard. There's something called the perfect guard. So basically, if you guard at the exact moment where the opponent is about to hit you, you will take zero damage usually, and that's called the perfect guard. So yeah, that's pretty much all of that, and that's pretty much it for the guard. I don't really know if I'm going to be using C or this. This, this actually looks a little bit easier, just use the right side of the mouse. Alright, let's talk to you. You ready for the battle? Yes. Alright, that's what I like to hear. Let the battle begin. I think I can just block the damage for now. And as you can see, he takes a little bit longer to, uh, to, like, uh, throw the multiple balls. 
So yeah, it's initializing the shield. Oh, I kind of dashed there, unfortunately. So it's overheating. So we're going to be learning about a few different things, but... Um, all right, so now we just want to guard and just hit him. And that's pretty much it. Captain, all right. You were doing pretty nice. I'm sorry to interrupt, but we need you on the bridge right now. What's the matter? Something is approaching us. So this is the man that was on the radar, remember? Something is approaching us, and quickly. Bloody darn timing. Sorry, lads, you have to stop it here. Duty calls. Carla, you clean up the balcony first and come to the bridge afterwards. Understood. Girl, I have no idea what's going on here, but I better... I, it'd be better for you to go inside, too. So let's go inside. Okay. You're still on the radar. He's still on the radar, approaching us at a very high velocity. No transmission. No darn ship to see. What's going on here? Captain, I think I caught it on satellite. You gotta see this. Holy crap. What a peculiar location we have here. It's a darn cargo ship, ya You look like you look like someone who just jumped right out of Crossworlds. This ship is not part of the bloody playground, so don't be a nuisance and get lost. We are aware of the nature of this place, yet we perceive the presence of another misplayed individual. That's none of your bloody business. Get off this ship and back to the game you came from. Foolish mortal, do you truly believe we will aside abide by your command? Did you just call me a mortal, you nutcase? You better leave right now or I'll be glad to tighten up your grip on reality. You bore us. We choose to no longer converse with the likes of you. Besides, our search has already been concluded. Hi. You, you do not belong here. You need to be removed. Oh damn. Wait, you seem all too familiar. Why, it can't be. Indeed, it might be a mere coincidence. Oh, but we most definitely have a way to be certain. What a convenient stage we have here. Now, it is time to face your trial. Holy crap, we're gonna have to fight this. Let us see if you are the genuine article. A display of your talents sh shall suffice as proof. Okay, Leah, do you hear me? I am just as confused about this whole situation as you are. It is certainly a mess, but we will get you out of this. For now, take on this challenge and keep him busy. I know, this enemy looks intimidating, but do not lose hope. I am confident you will be able to handle this. Because I can see its battle stats, they match your level. Alright. Okay, so we have our first boss fight over here, so... Uh, the way I like to fight enemies, uh, boss fights and just random enemies you can be fighting, is to kind of just, uh, learn what it does. See the patterns. This game is a pixelated game, right? It's kind of supposed to have that, uh... That, um... You know, that, that style of game as well, where enemies have patterns. And basically, this one is pretty simple. So he just kind of he just kind of jumps around, tries to get close to you. You can't really do damage by hitting him. I already knew that, but as you can see, he just hits us and then tries to jump towards us, and we have to dodge using the dash. So obviously, it's gonna be a bit harder for you to do it, but eventually, to do something that makes them weaker, and we get open to this, and this is how you do damage to it. If you try to hit it any other way, I can try and show you, but it does nothing. So, yeah, you just need to learn, try to learn its patterns. Um, it's really, you know, this is the first enemy. Uh, that, if that hits you with the damage, so you can either shield that or just try to dash away. I was like dashing over guarding. Um, yeah. And you can just go back here and kill it. So, pretty easy first enemy. Obviously, I already played this game a little bit too much, I guess, even if it was just a long time ago. I try to learn the patterns. Even if you lose, don't worry about it. This is just a tutorial still. So try to try to learn how to dash and how to do more things, and try to try to read the patterns of the enemies. I have played this game a little bit with my sister as well. She does not read any patterns. She's really bad at it. So 
uh, yeah, that's probably my biggest advice on starting out this game. Uh, try to learn the patterns of your enemies and try to see what they're weak to, what they're strong to, and how to beat them. And once you know the patterns, it'll just get so much easier. So, we actually got a level up from that. So, we are level 2, we have max HP 209, we have attack 21, defense 21, and focus. This is focus, which is 20. Uh, we'll learn a, a little bit more about these stats as well. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, we do not know what that is. And there we go. This spinning motion, one cannot find it twice in this world. Truly, there is no doubt about it. When was the last time we have laid eyes upon you? You within our, we, you within your incomplete vessel. Yes, you have our utmost interest. You will come with us. <laughs> Greetings from the Solar Fist, the pile of instant matter. What's this? Your divine powers can't handle a proper explosion? You, why you? This is preposterous. Okay, lass, you need to get off this ship right now. Carla, get her back to the teleporter as fast as possible. And tell me once she's off the ship. I'll make sure no trace of Crossworlds is left on my ship. Got it, Captain. Follow me, girl. Okay, so that's basically... Oh, wait, you unlocked something. Trophies. Unlocked. Um, something. I couldn't read it. Alright, so we need to get off this ship before that, uh... This dude. Well, well, our endeavor has not been concluded. You will not escape our will. He already caught up? Leah, those are high-level opponents. Do not fight them. Run to the teleporter. So I guess we're retreating. So let's get the hell out of here. You can sense your fear. You, your every step. Your escape is futile. Holy crap, that hit us, we die. I kind of slowed down there a little bit because I want, I want to see the enemies. But as you can see, if they hit me, we die. So we better use our dash as well to get the hell out of here. Okay. Oh, no you don't. Jump over the container. So you kind of need to learn how to get out of here. And just jump over here. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's actually not the way you do it. You're supposed to just jump over to this box up here and jump here and jump here. But I kind of wanted to show you, but I didn't even die because I dashed. Yeah, that's how we kind of want to do it. Damn, how are we going to pass this one? Wait, I got an idea. Okay, so he's actually... Carl is actually helping us here. Get this, we jump. And go here, jump. And there we go. Alright. Obviously, this can be a little bit tougher to understand if you're new, but just try to get uh, control of the, of the height of things. Here we are again. Time for you to leave this party. Come on, sweetie. This isn't the time for tearful goodbyes. We need to go right now. Besides, there are those guys. Goodbye, Leah. Enjoy Crossworlds. And we teleported. You darn pile of instant matter. Stop putting your trash all over the ship. This ain't gonna go anywhere. Jet, we did it. But he almost got us. There are probably some enemies left down in the cargo hold. Putting even more trash in my cargo hold. Okay, that's it. Playtime is over. I think the thing that gets him the most upset is just the uh, things that are, you know, dirt and trash and things like that. We, every time something of that sort happens, he's just really mad. Crew, activate the neutralizer. You're meddling with matters that are not of your concern. This is my ship. Daubers like you messing with my ship are on the bloody top of my list of concerns. I said it before, I'll say it again. This cargo ship is not part of the bloody playground. Boom. What the bloody hell was that all about? And with that, we say goodbye to the MS Solar and get to the Rhombus Square. Such beautiful graphics. Initializing Avatar. Whew, we did it, Leah. I still cannot believe what just happened on the MS Solar. Anyway, we are now in the official playground. This area is packed with all kinds of security measures. Now, interference from that blue individual is highly unlikely here. 
For now, let's just proceed. This is Rhombus Square, or more precisely, Newcumber's Bridge. This is the official introduction to Crossworlds. I place you right in the front of the last part. It is important that we do this part the official way to avoid suspicion. Ah yeah, speaking of suspicion, listen, Leah. It is absolutely essential that you pass as a regular player. We must avoid being reported at any cost. Hi. Ah yes. Uh, do not worry too much about your speech, your speech, speech synchronization issue. You are in fact not the first player with these problems. Oh. Anyway, just be careful, okay? With that, we have a long chapter one complete. All right. Don't we get a Steam? Steam um, achievement from that? Hmm. Most of these players here should be newcomers just like you. Veterans usually skip this part, obviously. <laughs> I guess veterans can create new cats. But yeah, we have finished the MS Solar, and my god. What a journey. So yeah, we're not even finished with the tutorial yet. We'll continue on next episode. For now, I think, um, I think we did enough for the first episode. A lot of things to try and understand, and, uh, you know, I think uh, it's a good stopping point. So, we'll continue on the Newcomer's Bridge next episode if you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you'd enjoy it, and I will see you next time.